Hi folks, welcome back to the Amazing Education channel, the Amazing Education Station. That rhymes. Please like, thumbs up, and subscribe. Remember, it's not about the video, it's about the information that's helpful to you and you need to know. So, yeah, you're not going to get amazing video, just listen to it. So today's topic is the problem with professional parents. Dual income professional parents. Okay, you have a mother and father that are hyper professionals, maybe the top of their education system, PhD, MD, doctorate, lawyer, whatever. And these, you're gonna have problems with your family, frankly. So basically, you might wanna consider hiring very good tutors, maids, people to do your shopping, cooking, cleaning, house repair, and spend time with your children when you have the time that you create. And it's one reason why very highly paid professionals often um, don't have much money because your profession makes you so busy, so stressed out, requiring you to do continuing education, travel all over for conferences and credits. And then the work itself is also very sort of high stakes, high stress, exacting, requiring the best decisions. And so you are a stressful person to be around. And then how, are you, how do you expect to raise children that are not going to be freaked out, not going to need medical care, therapy, and so on. So just realize these top professions are going to make your family life difficult. Now, if, as I said, it's if both parents are, are, are like this. If you have one parent that has the free time to take care of the children, children could be happy and well cared for. Okay, I'm talking about dual income professional families. And frankly, yes, well, you guessed it. I came from one of those and my friends are similar. And what happened? Well, I went through my parents' two divorces. My friend, best friend, his wife started working full time. Bam, divorce. Other very good friend, his wife is a top professional um, veterinarian and it's uh, to the point where even the son will not talk with the mother we have infidelity and uh, it's not a divorce yet but it's a broken marriage headed toward divorce and you know the children are not going to be happy and uh, you got to keep this in mind if you can't hire people to do all of your work for you so you have free time to spend with your children when you do have free time don't have children 